Okay, so this is the bottom of your universal flow valve. You want to make sure that's on there tight. I just use my fingers to tighten it. I think that's pretty good. Now, we've got a bidet. And I'm going to show it to you right here. And this is a uh, fresh spa bidet. So we've got it hooked to our water supply from here, from here, and from here. So it's a little bit more complicated than a regular uh, install for a toilet because we have to uh, we have to make this special connection here. And I've got to put some new uh, uh, plumber's tape on that bad boy. And then the top of it is going to connect on here. Okay, so I'm going to show you that in a second. Where's the plumber's tape? Okay, so now you got to hook this onto the universal. And if you see, this just twists. So that makes it easier for me. <laughs> so I'm just going to get this on this side. Because I'm going to need to hook it to the... Uh, and then I'm just going to twist this on, really, basically. And you want to make sure you get it without... You don't want to cross-thread this. Just make sure you get it on there right. And you want to get it on pretty good tight. And this twists, so you're good. Now, the water supply line is this line here, which is going to go to the, uh, to the um, shutoff valve. So we're going to go ahead and put that on. Just like you would. If this wasn't here, you would just attach this to that. Let's make sure our washer's in it, just in case. Yeah, it looks all right. And yeah, we'll find out. So you're gonna tighten that down. And I'm hand tightening this, so it should, it should be good. There we go. Right now, we've got to, uh, we got to attach it to the shutoff valve. You can see the shutoff valve is in um, closed position. And I think I might put some plumber's tape on there too because my honey's here. If she wasn't here, I wouldn't put it on. I would just tighten it down. Honey? You have to smooth out your tape. It's delicate. Yeah, she's... We've got to smooth it out. Are you okay? No, it's fine. I got it. Bam, done. All right, now we got to get this baby on there. And again, you don't want to cross thread it. This is our water supply line. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, as usual. There we go. I always back, go backwards first so that I don't cross thread it and go forward. All right, almost on there. Now I'm not. I got. I'm gonna have to tighten this down with some channel locks before we go ahead and open up the water line to it. Now I'm hoping that everything in here is all sealed, but who knows? All right, next we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, we're going to attach our uh, supply line to our fresh spa bidet. And I've already got um, plumber's tape on there because I put a whole new one on just recently. So it should be okay. Now I've got, all I've got to do is get my wrench on this and, uh, and Bob's your uncle. You know what they say. Get your wrench on it. Let me see if I can get a shot for, so you can see everything. All right, good. That's it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and tighten this down a little bit more. First, got to get my channel locks to channel out. There we go. That should be pretty tight. Now we got to get over here on the uh, shutoff valve to 
that tightener down a little bit. Always got to get your your uh, channel box in the right spot. What's cool about the shark bite is it does twist, so you can you know change your angle on this, so I can get at it a little bit easier. I think I should be pretty tight right there. Maybe one more. Okay. Maybe one more up here. Forget which way I was going. Okay, well, I think that's it. So the question is, will this sucker leak? Right, one thing we have to do too, for this to work properly, we've got to get our, our flapper hooked up right and get the right adjustment and distance. I want to get this chain on there. And I kind of want it right about there. That's kind of where I want to have it. Let me show you. So I, I kind of want it right about there. So when I lift this up, it pulls the flapper up. But uh, So I'm going to have to move it to that link right there. So here it is, you got to kind of get it through that bend and then get it off of there. Now I can come lower, like right about here, yeah, but I got to get it in one of these links. Let's try that one. Okay, so I'm in this link. Now I can push this close. Now what I've got to do is put this on one of these holes. I can get it through there. All right, now let's take a look and see what it does. That might work. It's not going over the top. All right, that looks like it might work. Now the question is, if we fill this with water, is it gonna leak? I certainly hope not. Okay, so, so we've got everything connected. We put our base on, right? Those are on. We've got all of our water lines connected, our water supply line, water supply line, our connector, and uh, we've got our flapper hooked up. So now all we have to do is turn on the water and see if it leaks. <laughs> Honey, are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, here goes nothing. Cross your fingers. Yep. So to turn it on, so to turn it on, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn this even with this pipe and then we should see what happens. Leaking, 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 turn it off. Hmm, where's it leaking from? Either it's underneath at the, at the screw or at the, at the screw in where you turn the hose in. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, it's this. Yeah. All right, I gotta fix it. All right, so we did get a leak, and the reason we got a leak is because that washer was missing. <laughs> so we're gonna, hopefully that'll plug up our leak. I hope we'll find out here. And I could, I could put some, I don't know, this is plastic, so, I mean, we could put plumber's tape on the plastic. Why not? I mean. But it wasn't leaking out of there, right? Never, not, not before. No, so. But I guess we can try it. Let's try it here. Yeah. Now that we've got the washer in there. Uh, make sure you get your washer in there. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Just make sure you don't cross thread it. So now that I've got the washer in there, hopefully it won't leak. We'll see. All right, so now I'm gonna put the channel locks on it. Once I find the channel that I need. So you gotta get your channel right. This is gonna be, let me see which way I was going. I was going this way. <laughs> oh my God, getting a little You gotta get a good seal on it. Right. 
think that's pretty tight. I mean, let's try it. Let's just turn it on, right? Let's see what happens. Whoa, look at that. No leak. Fill it up. Check it out. I didn't There's even tighten this thing. right here, so dry that off. That could be water from before. Yeah, I'm saying. And it's wet there. All right, let's see how much water we got here. All right, is it over the flapper yet? My honey's gonna, my honey's gonna do the piece de resistance and put the top on. Here she goes. Look, she's doing it. Don't drop it. Don't yeah, far away from the wall. Oh, never, look at that. I never realized. Yep, it's far away from the wall. Way too far. All right. Oh my God. Top. All right, we've got everything hooked up. We got our supply line. We got our tea off to our fresh spa a day. Let's check it out and see how it's working. We'll do the clean. Oh, that's good. That's good, doing good. All right. So let's give it a test with a flush and see how we do. You ready? Down she goes. I do believe it worked. All right, new toilet, new bathroom floor. Everything looks awesome.